Hi guys, welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to look how we can define brush presets within Photoshop. So you might think, what's the use of this? Uh, what practical purpose can it actually have? Um, in short, lots of different uses. Now let's first of all look at probably one of the most common uses, which is for creating birds. Now the first thing you want to do is get yourself a stock image you want to try and get something that's quite a bit of contrast in it, it does make life a lot easier I'm just going to use the quick selection tool here I'm going to make a selection of our bird then I'm going to press Control J to put it onto a new layer I'm going to turn the original off and just leave this copy that we've made now in order to make the brush you have to understand that Photoshop will define a brush pattern by using the black pixels on the picture so what you want as your brush has to be completely black and what you don't want included in your brush has to either be white or not there so the first thing we we'll do, I'm going to put a levels adjustment on this I'm just going to grab this end slide and I'm going to shove everything right to the end as black as I can get you will get some kind of funky looking pixels in here um, but that's not really a problem because we're going to put a saturation adjustment on the top and bring that down now if you do find you end up with a few white pixels here and there and they're spoiling the effect a little bit you can just use your foreground colour to black normal brush and just go over those areas but to be honest you're not going to see that on that sort of detail on this so I wouldn't worry about it Control shift D to flatten those down what I've selected on this layer go to your edit menu define brush preset and you can see the actual shape of your brush here uh, press OK and basically that is it now if I'm just going to create a new layer on the top here shift and F5 to fill I'm just going to fill that with white now if I go to your brush tool when you set your brush anything that you've created will automatically be at the end of the stack so I'm just going to select this one to show you I'm going to change our foreground colour to black now if this was a scene obviously we wouldn't have a huge gigantic bird right in the middle so you're only going to be using these at a quite a small size so you can see how you can create different effects and if you've got multiple birds there's nothing to say that you couldn't have different birds that were going in different directions you know a bit more random so you could have some that were swooping down some that were coming up uh, some that are closely grouped, somewhat further apart, you can put all of these birds on different layers you can vary the size so they look as if some are closer than others, some are further away than others um, or what you can do is you can make your own flock up um, I mean what we could do here, we could choose multiple birds like this obviously you'll spend a little bit of time on getting this proper um, but because these birds are in black and it's on a white background I could now edit define brush preset and I could save a brush that was a flock of birds so I'll just quickly show you what purpose this can have now obviously I've already had a few of these set so I'm just going to pick a random one from there foreground colours to black I'm just going to put that in there. So all of a sudden we took a picture that didn't have an awful lot going on. We've added a little bit of dynamism. Um, there's nothing to say you have to stay with just, just the one flock. You could have two flocks. And we could have this one a little bit further away maybe. And there's lots of uses for uh, presets with the brush tool. Um, another thing you can do is I'm just going to create a new layer here just to show you very, very quickly. On this layer I'm going to shift and F5 to fill again grab our text tool make sure our foreground colour is set to black I'm going to create a layer of text now it would make sense when you're doing this to get the text the size you would generally use it um, you know, I don't know whether you you, you run a, a website down the left hand side of your picture and a copyright at the bottom right 
you know whatever works for you but get the text roughly the size that it should be on your finished picture now I'm just going to grab the crop tool crop that down some way edit define brush preset uh, you can call this whatever you like um, press OK and save that now if I just go back here and go to our brush tool the reason I haven't saved these is because I already have uh, copied these in here that I've been using for a while so this one here if I select this one you can see is our web address so I can just plant that at that side and I also have a copyright logo for down there obviously with being on its own layer you can reduce the opacity of these and you can change the colour by simply defining what colour it is you want before you actually apply the the brush stroke um, you know, that's totally up to you just on a quick note if we just look at how we share our brushes so we've created our bird brushes and our copyright logos and our flares and everything else we want on the brush presets but we want to be able to a back them up and save them somewhere just in case or we might want to share them with our friends and family if we go onto the edit menu down to presets and a preset manager you can toggle through the different things here and obviously we want to look at the brushes so there are a couple of things we need to look at in here is the first one is how do we export brushes now for example I could select all of these by pressing the first one shift click on the last one it's going to select multiple files save set and you have the option to save an ABR file which is a, a Photoshop file it's going to create one file for you and all people need to do is to load that one file in and they will load all those presets that were included within it and the other thing is if you're sending it to one of your friends or family how do they get it back in well it's exactly the same screen exactly the same process you press load click on the ABR file click load at the bottom and it will load those presets and those brushes in for them if you're a Beck member you can go to the website and you can download these presets direct from the website so you can download an ABR file for the bird presets the singular birds and the flocks and you can also download lens flares thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this tutorial until the next time bye for now